Hey guys, so I'm back with another hair video. As you can see, my hair is very orangey. I'm gonna be dyeing it pink. Like in some parts, it's like really bright and then not in other places. And it looks kind of bad on camera. Like I didn't care about blending it at all. I think cause part of me knew I was just gonna do my roots, but it's it looks better in person, so. I don't think I'm gonna bleach my roots today. I think that if I end up thinking I'd look better with like my roots done, um, I'll do that. I'm wondering if I should put the pink on my roots though. Cause like it probably won't even show up, but I mean, why not? Like, I don't know. So I'm using Color Charm Paints by Wella. I've been putting off fixing this because um, there's gonna be a lot of steps. Like I'm gonna have to bleach this and then I have to decide if See, it looks different. I might have to go up a little bit at the roots, like maybe like this far. And I'm just kind of scared about that because I don't know, I'm scared to do my scalp. It's been a while. And then, yeah, so <laughs> there, there, and there, three colors, three colors, anyways. I'm not super worried about these roots. I used to be a perfectionist about it, but like, I usually make it work. However, other than like this shit, obviously I don't really want, but um, yeah, so I have to bleach this, these parts, um, this whole part here and then maybe a little bit on my roots so I would probably do yeah I'm going crazy whatever no I'm not going crazy I'm just you know I don't even know I don't even know what to think oh my gosh like I just I'm in a really weird mood because I'm not gonna say why but yeah anyways um but I promise, like, they're not correlated my hair and what I'm going through. I mean, maybe they are, but I wanted pink hair regardless, so I just happened to be doing this at the same time. Shit's always happening in my life, so this is not a coincidence. I mean, this is a coincidence, kind of, but anyways, so I guess my plan is to do i don't know what developer i'm using but bleach this and this part first and try your try my hardest not to do the parts that are already like bleached and it's kind of easy to tell where's like super light now because it's pink um like really like light pink so that's at least nice like i can see that clearly like this doesn't need bleached I'm trying to figure out what the move is i think i'm just going to bleach it and see what it looks like and then worry about toner after and i might do like a gentle shampoo if i have like a co-wash or something and then do the toner and since i'm not like going I don't think I'm doing like all my roots, so like maybe I could do the toner. Also, I think another reason why my hair didn't turn out great, like it was actually pretty good. Obviously it's more orangey than it was when I bleached it because I put pink all over it. So of course that's gonna make yellow and pink together makes like orange. And it was kind of like a little bit orangey, but it's more orange because of the pink. But anyways, the reason why I think it didn't get as blonde as it should have is because I didn't put like a bag or anything over like I tried to do foils but like I would just rather go with a bag because I don't know it's just easier better that's usually what I have the best luck with so I'm gonna mix up this bleach I think I'm just gonna go with 20 and 
because like I've already bleached this before and then I'm doing my roots that don't really need that much. So I parted my hair. Um, I'm gonna kind of speed this up because I still have to do toner in the pink. Okay, so I have it in a bag. I don't really know what I'm doing. I kind of just slapped bleach on my roots, kind of, like, kind of trying to do, like, a balayage. Um, obviously not a balayage because I don't know how to do that, but, like, just kind of rake it through my roots. And hopefully the ends aren't over-processed because I definitely got a whole lot of bleach on the parts that were already bleached. So I'm going to, like, check on that and hopefully my hair isn't gonna fall out. Okay, so this is a cute look. Now, I just, I really didn't put that much bleach on my, bleach on my roots, um, but I'm just, so that's why I'm putting this bag over this, and like, I didn't fully rinse out this bleach, I just kind of like rinsed it quick with water so it wouldn't over process, because I'm scared that's gonna over process. So I'm putting a bag over my roots, and waiting for that. I can already tell this isn't perfect, but it was better. And that's why we're doing toner. So yeah. I can already tell this is gonna be hard to tone because there's parts of my hair that are super light. Um, I think I actually got pretty much all the pink out. But yeah, these parts of my hair are just so stubborn because I think they're parts of my roots, but I'm not sure. So, like, it's gonna be hard to determine, like, the toner because I'm trying to not put it on the very light parts. But as you can see, I tried to do that with the bleach and that didn't work out. But the toner, um, if I put it on the really light spots, it's gonna turn it blue. So you just have to be careful, especially since my hair is really over-processed now. Back at it again. I'm gonna try my hardest to not get the white parts. I'm definitely over it, as most people are when they're doing their own hair. I do like it, but doing hair and stuff, but like I hate when shit like this happens because I think this is actually the worst color correction I've ever had. Usually I can do it pretty even. I think the reason why I couldn't do it so even this time or close to even was because I have so much roots and usually I don't like keep my roots and there was just a lot of unevenness so I was like trying to avoid places. Also I don't know if the bleach I have is like the best bleach. So I'm just gonna start even though it's like super runny. I think it's supposed to be runny. You're supposed to do it to like towel dried hair. Um the most towel dried hair I think my hair also I'm wondering if it's supposed to be this runny I know it's runnier than bleach like actually really runny but I didn't think it would be this runny maybe it's because I'm using clear I decided to do this I already have like the bottom half done so it's been a journey I'm using ion and flamingo and mixing it with some conditioner I'm trying to not put too much conditioner in it because I made that mistake last time and worst comes to worst it'll just fade so yeah Okay, so this is my hair dried and it's definitely really unhealthy. Like this part's very healthy, but the rest is not. And like as I suspected, these parts are super purple because um they were blue from the toner. Like, underneath is more pink, and that's more purple. So, like, and this just kind of has a, a pink hue. Um, I was not expecting it to be great. I was kind of hoping that the toner would be okay. And the only reason why, like, I thought the toner might work is because 
I've bleached my hair before and then used that exact toner and it got too like white blonde and I knew that some blue was gonna stay in it because that's what it did last time and it just like fades out so it's like not that big of a deal but I'm wondering if this purple is gonna fade into pink like I wanted originally I wanted it like at least to hear vibrant but that didn't happen so I feel like this is okay like I wasn't choosing like a dark pink and I like I don't know um, I'll show you in daylight whenever it becomes daylight but so far this is um what it's looking like obviously it's not what I wanted at all but I think it'll um grow on me and fade into pink and then like it'll be fine so the only part that's really bothering me is the bright purple because like I specifically wanted pink not purple so yeah I'm deciding if I should go all in and bleach the tops again but I've been just doing so much bleaching that I don't know maybe I'll just see how it goes or just keep it like this and like try to do it again another time and i'm gonna see how this fades and here's a close-up and you can see that the bottom is more pink and then the parts that were already like really processed are purple but i think that it's gonna fade um nicely i might just try again in the future um, I think I do better bleaching my hair when I'm doing it all at once, like, so, like, I'm not worrying about timing and sections and stuff like that. And I think that's why the bleaching went wrong. I also did it three times, so I don't know why, like, the bottoms were so orangey. Sometimes it's just, like, a mystery why some parts don't get blonde no matter how much times you bleach them or tone them but it's just weird because I know that I've bleached my hair before going from red and it was like really good like it turned out really good for going from red and I wasn't even going from red so it's kind of weird but um like and subscribe and see you next time